Welcome back, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed working with the Alice program last week. We're going to continue working with our comic strip today. You can see it on your screen. John leans in to talk to Garfield and says, I've decided to do nothing just like you. Garfield turns and looks at John and says, good luck, pal. And then they both look at the camera and Garfield says, nobody can do nothing like me. Let's check it out in Alice. Let's go ahead and get started coding for this comic. I'm gonna close down my window and I'm gonna look for the Alice 2.5 folder. It should be on your desktop. I'm going to double click to open it up. Once it opens up, I'll double click on the Alice icon. Once the program loads, you'll be able to choose what world you want to go into. You can choose the dirt, grass, sand, snow, space, or water world. I'm gonna choose the grass world and say open. Once my grass world is open, you can see all four quadrants of the screen. Things that are in the world, coding blocks, the coding area, and you can see my window for the world. I want to add objects, so I'm gonna click on the green add objects button. Today what I wanna do is I want to search the gallery. So I'm gonna to go to search up here in the corner of my screen. What I wanna do is I wanna search for a table. I'm gonna type in table, and I'm going to hit search. Once I do that, you can see all of the tables from all the different categories appear on my screen. I want the class big table. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to add it to the world. When that table is added, the first thing I need to do is straighten it out a little bit. So I'm going to go up here to my tools. The tool that I want is the rotate left or right tool. I'm going to click it. I'm going to click and hold on my table so it straightens out. Now these tools are great, but you always have to remember to go back to the arrow. Now I'm ready to add more characters. To add more characters, I want to browse the gallery. Once I browse the gallery, I can always go up and down on those folders by clicking the up arrow folder. I'm already on the Garfield folder, but let me show you how to level up. Now I'm on the top level and I can scroll across to find all of the different categories that are in Alice. Garfield is one of those categories, so I'm going to choose Garfield. I want the closed-eyed Garfield and the closed-eyed John today. So I'm going to choose Garfield first, add him to the world. Then I'm going to add John, and I'm going to add him to the world as well. These characters are transparent, so they do float in front of each other. So I'm going to click and hold on John, and I'm going to move him over. And you can see that they can pass through different objects just like he can pass through the table. I want to make sure that he's behind the table. And then I want Garfield to be sitting on the table today. So to pick Garfield up and put him onto the table, I'm going to use my up and down tool up at the top of my screen. I'm going to lift Garfield up. And then I want to place him on the table by using the arrow tool. Using the arrow tool, I can bring him forward. Now, again, I need to move him up. So I'll choose the up arrow tool. So I know that he's sitting on the table. And then I want to maybe shrink him down a little bit using the shrink tool. Click and hold on him to make him a little bit smaller. I'm ready to code now. So I'm going to say done. The first thing that's going to happen in my screen is John is going to turn to face Garfield. So again, I click on John. The coding blocks are down at the bottom so I can scroll down through. And maybe he's going to turn to face Garfield. Make sure that you choose Garfield and the entire Garfield. Once I do that, I can add more and the duration can be two seconds. Let's hit play at the top corner. He turns to face Garfield. Now I'll close that window. Now he needs to talk. So he's going to say something. So I'm going to go to the John say block and he's going to say, I've decided to do nothing just like you. You'll have to type this in, but I've already typed it in here. I can change the more block to the duration. And again, he might say it for two seconds. Let's try it out by hitting play. 
on my comic, Garfield responds, and now he's going to turn and face John as well. Garfield is going to turn and face John, the entire John. And then he is going to say something as well. But Garfield usually thinks. So I'm going to use the Garfield think block. Garfield is going to think, good luck, pal. They're both facing each other, and I want them to both turn to face the camera at the same time. At the bottom of the screen, I have some blocks. The block that I want is a do together block. And I want Garfield to turn to face the camera once again. And I want John to turn and face the camera as well. So I'll choose John. John is going to turn to face the camera as well. Once they're both facing the camera, Garfield is going to say his last comment. I need to choose Garfield. And he's going to, again, think something. And he's going to think, nobody can do nothing like me. This is the coding blocks. Let's see what happens whenever I hit play. Perfect. Once you finish the comic today, you can add more objects. Maybe you want to add more things from Garfield, or maybe you want to add other things like a house in the background. You can always search the gallery, or you can level up to the different categories. Explore it because later on you'll be able to create your own cartoon or your own scene from a movie. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot.